Video settings is the fifth and last video in playlist how to use Screen Recorder 4. To watch the videos in order, click the playlist link in the video description. This video will describe all options shown when you click the settings gear wheel on the main Screen Recorder window and all the submenus. It will also describe any options shown when you click an icon on the main screen. This is a reference video. The other videos in, in playlist how to use Screen Recorder 4 have shown how to use Screen Recorder and have described recommended settings for each type of recording. In this video, we'll just describe what each setting does. Open the settings menu by clicking the gear wheel. It comes up in the general tab. This checkbox will make the screen recorder window always be on top when you're recording. When you move things uh, over it or, or, or you move it over other things, it will always stay on top. This will minimize the screen recorder windows after the program is launched. Don't recommend that one. This will minimize when recording starts. Uh, we've discussed in the other videos, sometimes you may have to do that. I recommend you don't because it hides the controls on the windows. If you've minimized it, you'll probably want to restore it when recording is complete by checking this box. Automatically check for software updates. Check it. Language, use system default language, check that. If you're done with all the settings changes, you can click OK to leave. If you're done and you don't want to make any changes, you can click Cancel to leave. If you just want to go to another screen and make more changes, don't click either one of those, just change screens. The File menu, this specifies where Screen Recorder saves its recordings. You can browse and change it. This specifies a prefix to put in front of video recordings and a prefix to put in front of any snapshots you take. You can specify whether you want those snapshots to be JPG or PNG format. On the video menu, if you've selected record full screen and you have several monitors, you will need to specify whether you want to record the primary monitor, the secondary monitor, or a third monitor if you have three monitors. Performance, enable hardware encoding, Yes, unless you have trouble with creating videos that are totally playable. If you do, uncheck it and use software encoding. Editing, create MRK files. When you edit a screen recorder recording with PowerDirector, the MRK files will cause a line to appear at the top of the timeline that will show you exactly when you clicked the mouse while you were making a recording. Lock to applications. If you're using the lock to application feature to record and you check this, if you move things across on top of the locked window, they will be invisible and they will not hide that window. If you do not check this box and you move another window across a locked application or window, it will cover it in the recording. As we mentioned earlier, whenever you check or uncheck this box, you have to close and reopen Screen Recorder for the change to take effect. Recording bitrate, I leave the preset standard. On the audio menu, you specify you want the microphone to record or not, and you specify whether you want system sounds to be recorded or not. If you specify both to be recorded, you can specify the relative volume of the microphone or the system sounds if you're re recording a program that was making sound. If you're going to record from a microphone, you'll need to specify which microphone here, and you'll need to set the Windows recording level for that microphone. And you should be setting this to whatever you've arrived at as your ideal Windows recording level setting with a microphone. For information on setting your recording level, Please see video, How to Set Your Recording Level, and Playlist, How to Record Video Tutorials. I now find that a setting of 75 for the Windows Recording Level is probably okay, and when using Audacity, it's probably best to keep the peak level 
right close to minus 12. This is a peak meter, just shows you whether or not you're uh, recording it to a high level. Do not mess with these guys if all you're doing is recording from the microphone in the system. There's a strange interaction between these settings and that setting, and so don't mess with these settings if you're just using the standard microphone and the system audio. Going to the webcam settings, if you're going to show the webcam uh, in your recording, you'll have to specify it here and use the default resolution and default frame rate. This will turn the preview window on and off, and you should be using the preview window if you're going to be recording the webcam by selecting it here, because that's the only way you'll see where the uh, image will be prior to recording it. Chroma key is the feature that will let you record in front of a green screen and then make the uh, then remove the green screen from the picture, leave you only in the picture, and then change the background to a photo that you've selected. You turn the chroma key feature on and off here. This is where you select the background photos that you want to use. You click here in your browse to select a photo from your computer to use it as the background photo. This is how you deselect a background photo that you've selected. This is the trash. You click the pencil, then you click on the image where the green area is, and then you adjust these two sliders until all the green goes away, and the, your selected background photo is then visible behind you. Hotkeys, I really recommend you not use the hotkeys. They don't work reliably, and they may interfere with any other program that you happen to be running at the same time you're trying to record and use hotkeys. As I said earlier, if you want to use the controls on the for starting, pausing, recording your video, and it's not visible on the screen, just click the icon on the taskbar to make it visible, and then use the controls on, on the uh, main window. The main window has the uh, record controls and has the uh, you can turn the webcam on and off, uh, overlays on and off, mouse clicks on and off. If you are recording, you can click this symbol to pause it, and you can click a square that appears here to stop and save the recording. And that pretty much co covers all the things we want to cover. If you want to participate in the improvement program, you click here, and you click that, and then you'll have the, uh, as it says, CyberLink will collect information to improve the program and hopefully will preserve your privacy. Your choice, participate or don't participate. Now once you're through making all the changes to all the screens and the settings, you click OK to save any changes you've made. If you haven't made any changes, you just click OK to make the windows go away. Settings available on the main screen. We pretty much covered them all. I'll, I'll just cover a couple of highlights. If you click here, it will show you the recordings you've made with Screen Recorder. Click here to turn the preview display on and off. Click here to select your how you're going to be recording. You can set the video resolution you're recording at. I normally leave the default. You can also set the frame rate, and again, I normally leave the default. Mouse clicks, you can turn on and off and show this color with concentric circles around when you click the left mouse button. And if you click this, you can select which color you want. Click here to turn the webcam on and off, but click here to select the resolution you want to use on the webcam and to open the webcam settings menu which you also can op open by clicking the settings gear wheel followed by the webcam tab. Microphone, you can change which microphone you want to use and you can open the audio preferences 
menu, which you can also open by clicking the settings gear wheel and the audio tab. This will show you your recording level settings. For the overlays, clicking this one will show you the overlays you've stored in Screen Recorder, and you can add more by clicking here. You can turn them on and off by clicking on the eyes. You can make them transparent or opaque by sliding the slider for each different overlay. And you can get rid of an uh, overlay by clicking on it and clicking on the trash can at lower right. That's pretty much all the settings that you'd be using in, in uh, Screen Recorder. And again, more information on each setting that's used for a particular type of recording has been described in the previous videos in this playlist. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are also links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to open the playlist containing this video. Click at lower left to watch a video especially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes YouTube channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.